and then I'll put this over the top of it like that. So for this load I'm doing horizontal small sticks. I found just some scrap material that I'm hoping I can use to make a diverter. You can see that I have sticks in four locations and those are to create an air gap at the bottom of my outer shroud. So there we go. Okay, I was able to break it. All right, I don't think we quite have enough, but let's see what we got. Okay, the rest of the pieces I have are really small. Really small. Oh, here, this maybe this one will work. Kind of have one big hole right there. What the heck? We'll put it in there. We'll try that. Whoop! Let's start with that. I think that might be enough. Okay, let's give you a wrap-around view while this is warming up, while the fire is getting going. You can see the gap that we've created here at the bottom to let combustion air in at the bottom. That combustion air should then heat up and convection should pull it up. But it's actually burning very nicely. Ash, you stay. Let me open the door. I almost have too much of a breeze to really be able to see exactly what's going on with the flame pattern. I'll see if I can find something to block this wind a little bit. I set up my camp chairs. I just kind of disassembled them and hooked them around that branch. I'm creating a thermal column going directly up against the pot. So it seems to be working pretty good. I'm really happy with it not very much smoke at all seems to be you know a, a quite a smoke free fire and uh, it has great performance very happy with it I'm having a lot of fun today The flame has kind of died down, and I think it's just hot coals in there now. Here's a look right down into the burn chamber, so you can kind of see how it all turned out. <laughs> 